one. I know many people have been asking me about these crush cars, and they have been probably well over a year in the making, but they've been nothing with problem with beam updates, and I just decided to redo the entire pack, and it should be going way faster than it is, but I've got all these other projects. I know CRD, um, they don't need me too much more, because Mike's killing it with CRD updates, Bobcat helping him. Uh, they're doing some Unreal stuff, and me and Jedi and Mike and Bobcat, actually all four of us, are knocking out some CRC stuff. And just want to get CRC out to you guys. Also want to get this out to you guys, but I'm also excited with all the updates I'm doing to CRC. So it's hard to pull me away from projects. But I do want to start making maps again because I did promise you guys a long time ago about doing all the World Finals. And that can't be really done with all the Crush Cars getting broken. So I have been spending some time redoing the Crush Cars. So I will go over what kind of progress I have so far, and just keep you guys in the loop. I've been trying to make this video for like three weeks now, and I just haven't, and I want to start working on these now that CRC 1.2 is in full swing, and getting closer and closer to final betas every day. So the biggest, or actually as you can see here, I'll go over it all. FPS Crush Pack, that hasn't changed at all, probably going to end up changing this to match everything else and give it a nice preview so if you spawn that uh, i don't have any pc files as of now but that will get there so if you go to this you'll immediately see it's different we have a vehicles thing so i split up in a little bit of categories i pulled some map makers and they said that this would probably be the easiest way for them to do things so we got cars vans buses and trucks so that's like all the buses types and like garbage trucks and stuff like that and some extras like the turning poles are coming back the bkt tire and stuff like that i think overall i counted there's gonna be 50 something cars in this update 50 50 something different types of cars i know one time i had 50 something things but it was like moonhawk moonhawk 45 degree and all that kind of stuff and as you know we no longer have to do that so we go to cars i have these 100 percent done every car option i have is in they have every I think almost every car model in game I put in. So you got the Moonhawk right here. We can switch to the Grand Marshal. Maybe. Maybe not. Let me. Okay. Well. Maybe it's not going to work. Grand Marshal. Oh, there it is. I don't know what took so long. But yeah, no material. All the cars are in game. Models are done. And the J Beams are done. But there are no material. The J-Beam is a brand new J-Beam, basically modeled off the first one. Um, but yeah, each car has its own J-Beam. And it is brand new. And there are some errors in the J-Beam, as you can see. Like, this isn't blue, this isn't blue, this isn't blue. But I think I'm going to release, the or get everything finished up, release the Crush Pack, and then fix that as an update. Because it doesn't really... It's basically for perfectionist, which... I like to call myself a perfectionist, but sometimes I, I would like to get things out instead of trying to make everything perfect. So if we go back to Moonhawk, because I kind of have that one set up. Uh, yeah. I'll show you a little bit more. The Windover. I don't know if it's... It's a fresh clear cache, so I want to say that's why. But here you can see some JB mares like these. They're super easy to fix, but I'll probably end up redoing all the triangles. And that shall fix it. So yeah, there's another one. But yeah, you guys play BMG, you know what all this looks like. So let's go back to the Moonhawk. So then we have the make and model, which is all those easy. Then we have placement. So this is fixed, not fixed. So it will spawn not fixed. And as you can see, the car can move around. And I know the last Crush Pack update, I made it to where all the cars were fixed. That way you can move it around. So I don't know if you still need that or not. I haven't done too much research, but... I figured if I'm doing this all over again, we might as well have a not fixed option. And if you can't save it moved around, then we can hit that at a later date. But we also have a fixed option, which cannot be moved. So this will really, you can put the fixed ones as a base of a car and stack another car on top as a not fixed. Just wanted to give you more options because I know people like to do like the Tower of Power or stuff that cars need to move on. So I wanted to give that option. So we'll get fixed. Then we have the color and the shell design, basically like the monster trucks we do. So we have the dirty, and this is what I need to figure out. The one thing I need to figure out is materials. I would like to get all the selectable uh, skins back. 
So none of them work as of now. I got the dirty one is the only one I coded. It shows up, but it is not quite right. But Mike said he would help me out with that when it when the time comes, when I'm done with the pack. But right now the colorable does work, and you can color it any color in the color palette, and you can move that around. Also made sure that all these work. Brightness, chrominess, metallic, roughness, clear coat, and clear coat roughness. They all work. So that was a big thing. I wanted to make sure that it gets done. Also want to try to make this the interior black again like the old pack was. But that has to do with the UV and the material, which I am stupid and I don't know how to do. Mike knows how to do. So going to leave that to him. Also, these include the new PBR textures that CRC has and that the game recognizes better. So they're all DDS textures. So they look way better and interact with the environment way better. And I think that's about it with the Crush Pack, what I have done so far. So I know I went through it really quickly, but no reason in sitting here trying to over-explain everything. So next video, i hopefully going to have the vans done and going to do some crush tests for you guys. But that was the rough explanation of how the new crush pack is going to work. It's going to replace the old one. And I don't know if you're going to have to redo all your maps or not. So that's a question I will answer at a later date. So stay tuned.